Hey guys, if you guys have already seen the title of this video, I'm here to talk about the best 3 star weapon or I might even say best weapon for Albedo as of right now. And only if you are building Albedo for E. If you are building Albedo for out, you don't have to look at this video. You could, but I think the weapons would be better for out Albedo. So, what weapon am I talking about? Harbinger of Dawn. Now, look at this 3 star weapon. Look at the stats. Crit damage. At level 90, it's gonna be like 40% plus, but around 40% crit damage. And the passive is the most important part. When HP is above 90%, increases crit rate by 28%. Now you're gonna get this at Refine 5 pretty easily if you just do your rolls. Because it's a 3 star weapon and yeah, I have quite a bit. Even though <laughs> I'm not looking for this weapon. Until now. And now this is good because obviously Albedo is gonna be at 100% HP if you never use him on field as a support. And yes, the Harbinger of Dawn passive does work even when Albedo is off field. So you will get that crit rate even when he's off field and the crit damage because it's still his skill. Now why this is so good, and I might say it can beat Festering Desire for now, I'll get on to that later, is because it allows you to build your artifacts easier. Because of crit damage and crit rate, you don't have to worry so much about your artifact strength for crit rate especially, you can probably, probably go crit damage on your helmet because of this, and you can probably just get the crit rate from the rest of your substats. As for energy recharge as well, you can probably get them from your substats. So you could just off-put the energy recharge you'll get from Festering Desire or any other energy weapons. Now the reason why it's even better than Festering is just that it's a 3 star. And it's both are free, technic both are easy to get because Festering is free. But Festering is also the best weapon for Jean, the best weapon for MC, which everyone has, the best, uh, and even a viable choice for Bennett support. I think it, it is one of his better weapons that he can use. Now you might be thinking, wouldn't the low base attack kind of hurt Albedo? No, because you're building E Albedo. The only thing that matters is defense for his E damage. So the fact that this is a 3 star and his lower base attack does not affect him at all except for his out which is a bit slightly less damage. But you're building for E Albedo. So artifacts for E Albedo, I don't have it right now. But 2 piece Petra and 2 piece Defender's Wheel is the way to go. Or you could try 2 piece Petra and 2 piece gamblers because that's the um, that's 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 that needs further testing on which one's better but I think defenders wheel is slightly better as of right now just for the defenders 30% the defense 30% and if you're going out albedo you'll probably just stick with this or 2 piece Petra 2 piece gladiators because I think I'm gonna explain why Elemental burst damage or elemental skill damage from Festering Desire is not as great as what people think it will be on Albedo. First reason is because it already his skills he's already getting geo damage bonus from his ascension. You're gonna run a geo damage cup on him. So elemental skill and elemental burst damage is additive, so the fact that you have so much geo damage bonus, kind of diminish diminishing returns compared to if you just run the raw stat for the skill, which is why 
out Albedo will probably use two piece gladiator for the attack, and E Albedo will use Defender's Wheel for the defense. Now I'm gonna show a bit of a uh, showcase of the difference between Festering and Harbinger of Dawn. I'm gonna try on this Rune Guard over here. Now, oh wait, I can't switch. Right. Right, I'll show you the Harbinger of Dawn first. I'm just gonna put the E down and I'm just gonna auto attack this Rune Guard. So it crits for 2340, does normal damage of 1168. Now that's not as much damage, but now we'll switch to the Festering Desire. Now something I might want to note is that Festering Desire might still be the better choice at Refine 5. Right now we can't test that because obviously we can't get Refine 5 yet. But let's showcase the damage. 1307 on a non-crit. So that's actually higher than the Harbinger of Dawn. But you see if it's a crit, it's 2113 which is less than Harbinger of Dawn because obviously it doesn't have the crit damage on. But you can the Harbinger of Dawn also has more chance to proc crit and therefore it's gonna always do a lot more damage than uh, Festering Desire because it has a higher crit rate. You see I'm not getting as much crits as if I use Harbinger of Dawn and keep in mind this is I don't even need Albedo on field to take advantage of this effect. Alright, let's try this again with Harbinger of Dawn. If I can get a crit to happen. My crit rate currently is at 47%. It's not it's still not the ideal crit rate. But I think it's slightly more than festering. Now it just depends on my luck. And I took damage. Cool. Uh let me just eat. 2340. <laughs> Didn't get a crit. Didn't get a crit. Trust me guys, it's better than it's better than you think. I'm just very unlucky with crits. That's four crits in a row with almost about 50% chance. That's five crits in a row. And I took damage again. 2340. 2340. And I didn't get lucky again. But yeah, you get the point. And just to show again that it does apply even when he's off field. He's still gonna do 200, 340 and he's gonna do. Yep. So for E Albedo, you wanna run a defense timepiece, geo damage, and a defense. Sorry, not defense, crit damage helmet. Most likely. Now if you are using Defender's Wheel, because it's a 4 star weapon, 4 star artifact at max, you want to use it on your Feather and your Flower. Because Feather is not important for Albedo E, because it, your, all you care about is defense, so you can afford the lower base attack. Flower as well, because it's HP, you can afford the lower HP. And yeah, that's what I want to talk about. Current Albedo, what's he looking like? He's still looking pretty strong as a uh, E support. He's pretty much like official, but even more fun. He's <laughs> now take take don't take my word that this will beat Festering Desire for sure, because I'm pretty sure I have a feeling R5 Festering might just beat um this weapon here. We, because we can't test it right now, because you know, we haven't unlocked it, but there is a chance it will win Harbinger of Dawn. So yeah, that's all I want to talk about. This hidden gem of a weapon is perfect for Albedo. I hope you guys will use it as well. 
and you know you can free up the slots for festering desire for your other characters like Jean or Bennett and Merry Christmas guys and I hope to see you guys next time